TV. This is 24 Hour News 8 at noon. Here right now with author and behavior expert Greg Hanna to talk about people's addictions to their cell phones and whether that addiction is giving you a bad attitude. Welcome, Greg. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me. So tell us about your initial observations on this topic. Well, certainly. You know, one of the biggest forces in determining your attitude is a relationship with dependence on it, especially your addiction to your smartphone. Mm -hmm. um, psychology today says that having a chronic negative attitude, you know, can really determine your health, happiness, and well-being. And, you know, by using your cell phone so much, you're really detracting from that. Right, and we have so much coming at us, too. I mean, for instance, people, you know, sit there and they press refresh, 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 mm -hmm. you know, with no email coming in. They just can't help, help themselves, right? <laughs> and it's driving themselves crazy. So it gives, makes them nervous. Sure. So what are some of the signs that your phone is giving you a bad attitude? You have kind of a quiz. I absolutely do. Okay. Should we take it? No. no. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what's on this quiz. Tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, question number one, you know, do you get upset when you call someone and they don't answer? Hmm. You know, even to, in today's day and age, people have their cell phone right in their pocket, but they, they don't want to answer the phone. So, I mean, does it bother you when it goes to voicemail? Hmm. I mean, question number two, I mean, do you make yourself nervous by frequent or constant checking your email? Are you pressing refresh, refresh, refresh? <laughs> and is it making you have nervous anxiety? Anything else? What's well, next? Well, my favorite one is, you know, do you get anxious when someone doesn't immediately respond to your text message? I mean, are you sitting there waiting, screaming at your phone? <laughs> Why aren't you answering? Why aren't you answering? I know you're there. Well, we do have that problem, though. I mean, I'm saying we because I think a lot of people do. I know that you, are, do, you want that answer right away because we do know we have immediate access to somebody, it feels like. And so you do expect that answer, you know, or at least something to get you on to the next thing that you need to do in your day. You know, we roll out pretty fast and we get a lot done in a day. That's really true. You know, and the thing that bugs me the most, I think, is social media, right? So, I mean, do you, does it negatively impact people when they're surfing on it? Are they looking at other people's amazing vacations in Hawaii or in the Greek islands and then gritting their teeth and grinding their teeth and bemoaning their own <laughs> mediocre existence. Oh, I hope not. Um, so, Greg, the name of your book is? You Can Conquer Your Bad Attitude. Okay, and you have a website as well? Yeah, absolutely. It's a smartphoneaddictionawareness.com. Okay, and you can take that quiz? Absolutely. Okay. You know, one yes, maybe, two yeses, probably, three yeses, Definitely, and your smartphone's turning you into a monster. You need to do something about it. <laughs> Make some adjustments, right? Absolutely. Greg Hanna, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it.